you can't live out of the house for three weeks, come back in, and then suddenly tell everybody in the house how they should raise Melanie. Because you haven't been there. If you see Melanie only on the weekend, and you haven't seen her for five days, you can't suddenly go in and become the boss. Well, we had a conflict, I think it was about a week or so ago, with Melanie studying her spelling words in great grandma's room. Mm -hmm. I was doing the dishes and cooking, <clears throat> and Melanie was with great grandma studying her spelling words. And a little boy came to the door and wanted Melanie to come out and they were going to ride bikes. Mm -hmm. Melanie didn't want to go. She said, I'm studying my spelling words, and Lori made her go outside. Mm -hmm. So there was a conflict there because great grandma was helping her with her schoolwork. And it was just a conflict. She thought she should play outside for a while after being in school all day. Mm -hmm. It was difference, just difference of opinion, just a conflict. I hear you. So all it's right. things like that that we'd have to decide on. Mm -hmm. I figured before it got too late, because she anything? did want to go outside. I hear you. But before it got too late and too dark, she just got off the school bus. She shouldn't have to go right in the house and start studying again after all that. She should have time to play outside for a little bit, and then come in, study, take a bath, and get ready to go to bed. She'd be, you know, in a schedule <laughs> life for her. I hear you. So that's the way I think. You know, I think she should come home right after school and then go in there and start studying. I mean, all day at school studying is just You know, gonna... something, Laurie, I think what you're saying makes a lot of sense. Problem is, she's not living with you all the time. Yeah. 